A famous quote from Plato, the worst of all deceptions is self-deception. Self-deception results in disaster in life, and self-deception leads to temporary happiness and unhappiness at the same time. Today's story explains why self-deception is a bad thing and shows how self-deception can cause great harm. On other days, the king was sitting and discussing with his counselors in the royal meeting. Immediately king asked the prime minister, what is your greatest desire in life? As the prime minister did not answer the king's question, the king turned to the minister again and said, don't panic, just tell me the biggest wish of your life. I am very curious to know. The prime minister knelt down and bowed to and said, you are the king of this vast and beautiful empire. Whenever I look at this beautiful empire and you, I wish that if I had even a tenth part of this beautiful empire, I would consider myself the luckiest person in the world. The king heard this and said to the prime minister if I give you half of this empire. Then the prime minister was surprised and said, Emperor, I am the prime minister of your empire. If you give me half of your empire, how will you be safe? How will you manage your society without a prime minister like me? Especially since I am also the emperor of an empire and your rival king. After listening to the prime minister, the king issued an order to hand over half the empire to the prime minister and asked the officer and asked the officers to prepare the documents for the transfer of the empire. After issuing the decree to surrender half the empire, the king affixed his seal to the document and signed. The king turned to the prime minister, looked into the prime minister's eyes and said, you have been given 30 days, after 30 days you have to appear in this royal meeting and answer three questions. If you can answer the three questions correctly then half of my empire will be yours. And if you fail to answer the three questions correctly, you will be beheaded that day. The prime minister was surprised by the words of the king and looked at the king. The king said my first question, what is the biggest truth of human life? My second question is what is the biggest deception in human life? And the third question is what is the greatest weakness of human life? The emperor asked the prime minister, do you agree to this condition? The prime minister thought for a while, then agreed to the greed of half the empire, and told the king I agree. As the prime minister agreed to the king's terms, the king ordered, as per royal court custom, to honor the prime minister's consent by playing royal music and royal instruments. After the noise stopped, the king told the prime minister that the time to act according to the conditions began from now. You now leave the royal court and start your work. We will meet again in this royal court after 30 days. The prime minister left the royal court, picking up the king's permission letter. The prime minister began to think from whom the answer to the king's three questions can be known. After thinking a lot, he decided to go to all the wise, learned, skilled, intelligent, prudent, and experienced people of the state and ask them the answers to those three questions. Day after day, night after night passed, but those three questions were not answered. After several days passed, the prime minister did not get any satisfactory answers to those three questions, and with a feeling of annoyance and despair, he thought that he would leave this state and go to the neighboring state and try to find out the answers to the king's three questions by visiting different places in the neighboring state.
he left his own kingdom and went to neighboring kingdoms, wandering from place to place to find out the answers to those three questions, but could not find satisfactory answers to those three questions from anyone. After traveling around different cities and villages for about a month, the Prime Minister's royal clothes were torn, his turban was loose and hanging around his neck, his shoes were torn and his feet were blistered, but he could not find the answer to those three questions. Slowly that day came. The next day he has to appear in the royal court. The Prime Minister was sure that he would be beheaded tomorrow. Desperately wandering on the highway of the state, he saw a hut by the wayside. A fakir and a dog are sitting in front. He saw that the fakir was eating dry bread dipped in water, while there was a milk pot beside the fakir and the dog was drinking the milk from the pot by wagging its tail. Fakir saw the condition of the Prime Minister and said, You have come to the right place, Prime Minister. I have answers to all three of your questions. The Prime Minister thought to himself, Who am I? What is my question? How did Fakir know? Placing the bread aside, Fakir picked up a bag lying by the side and opened it to the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister saw that inside the bag was a royal dress like the Prime Minister. Fakir said, I was once the King's Prime Minister and like you, the King was very pleased with me, and at the request of the King, I expressed my desire, the dream of empire. The Prime Minister asked for an answer to my question but I have not yet received it. Fakir said, Don't worry at all, I have all the answers to your questions, rest assured, you will definitely get all the answers. I worked hard, traveled to many places, talked to many people who spoke many languages, wasted time and patience, then I got the answer. But after knowing the answer, I immediately tore up half the empire's permit and came here to live. Now I am living very comfortably with this hut and this dog of mine. But the Prime Minister did not have time or patience to listen to so many words, because tomorrow is the day of his death, so the pregged the Fakir to answer those three questions. Fakir said, Listen, I am answering your three questions one by one. There is no condition to know the answer to the first two questions, but to know the answer to the third question, you have to agree to one condition, Will you agree to my condition to know the answer to the third question? The Prime Minister had no other choice, whether to accept or reject the Fakir's terms or to give his opinion. The Prime Minister was scrambling to know the answers to three questions. For the past 29 days, the three questions have not been answered despite visiting various places. Today, when the opportunity came, he agreed to Fakir's proposal to save his life. Agreeing with Prime Minister Fakir's Prokir's proposal, Fakir said that the answer to the first of your three questions is that death is the greatest truth of human life in the world. No matter how powerful, no matter how much money, no matter what miracles happen. No man can escape without accepting the fact of death in his life. The answer to your second question is that the biggest deception in people's lives is their own lives. If we think carefully we will find that we are cheated at various times in life, like quarreling with relatives for custody of our property, house breaking due to divorce, loss of money, false promises, cruelty, creating confusion, and breach of trust. Doing, overstepping relationship boundaries, dishonesty, lying, con concealing the truth, giving ruined messages, 
etc. All these things happen more or less in each of our lives. Yet we live with so much hope only to be further deceived in our lives. Both the answers Fakir were very satisfactory to the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister now asked Fakir to answer the third question. Fakir said okay, but surely you remember that. To know the answer to question number three, one condition must be met. The Prime Minister said he remembers. Then Fakir took the milk container from the dog's mouth and handed it to the Prime Minister and said, Drink the rest of the milk. After you drink the milk, I will give you the answer to your third question. Thinking that he would have to drink milk from the dog's milk bowl, the Prime Minister's eyes rolled up and sweat appeared on his forehead. Taking the dog's milk container in his hand, he put the container down on the ground with disgust. The dog's milk, he didn't want to drink anyway. Fakir told the Prime Minister, now you have two options, number one drinking milk from the dog's bowl and taking the opportunity to know the answer to question number three. And number two is to give the executioner a chance to cut off the head from the neck without drinking the milk from the dog's bowl. The Prime Minister thought for a long time about whether or not to drink milk from the dog's milk bowl and convinced himself that if he drank the milk from the dog's mouth, he would get a little sick, but not die. But if he drinks the milk given by the dog's mouth, he will not only know the answer to question number three, but also he will be able to own half of the empire. Finally, the Prime Minister losing his self-respect took the dog's milk container and drank the milk from the dog's mouth in one gulp. Fakir laughed loudly and said, Great Minister, this is the answer to your third question. Man's greatest weakness is his raw, his urge. That makes people drink milk from dog mouth milk jugs, and this fact made me throw out half the warrant. Had to be forced to make a nest with a dog in this hut. I knew that I would be deceived in this short life, I denied the truth of death, and the more I denied death, the more I fell into the, the rotten throat of life and I had to breathe every day in this suffocating atmosphere. Today you have to drink the milk given to the dog for the sake of your life. Fakir said to the Prime Minister, This is my only advice to you, you should realize what your life is in these three realities, once you know this, your life will be good. The Prime Minister understood Fakir's words very well, after knowing the three truths of his own greed and life, his shame on one side and regret on the other were increasing. Slowly the Prime Minister, taking leave of the Fakir, rode towards the palace. Reaching the royal palace with this understanding, he could hear his own heart pounding. But, nearing the royal palace, the Prime Minister, while dismounting from his horse for his long toll, fell off the horse and died of head injuries as he could not hold the reins. In our own life, we should sit quietly and tell the story, looking at the basic questions of life, we have to think about whether we are self-deceiving ourselves by running after lust, greed, or lust, do we ever want to be like the prime minister of this story? or the answers to the questions will teach us to live with new madness. In human life, there is both light and dark side, just as there is happiness there is also sadness, the key to happiness is to stay on the bright side and avoid the dark side. But this is not as easy to say as to do. Just as self-deception can be the key to short-term happiness in happiness in life's deceptions, Self-deception can lead to destruction and long-term misery. 
Don't forget to like and share. Subscribe to be the first to receive stories like this. See you again in the next video. Thank you.